Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. With the name of Allah, who is very kind and merciful. Welcome to the DevOps King. Today we shall discuss the CI CD for MS SQL database using the Azure DevOps part 1. MS SQL Server Database CI CD using Azure DevOps part 1. In the step one, first of all, we shall open the Visual Studio and from the file new project, we shall create the project. In the step two, we shall, first of all, we shall write, search for the database. After that, we select the database and in the third step, we shall click the next button. In the third step, we shall write the name of the project. In this case, DevOps King, we shall give the path for the project to save and the third step is we shall click the create button. After clicking the create button, we shall get the database project, DevOps King, database project in Visual Studio. After that, in step four, we shall right click the database project. This one, we shall write the database project. After this, after right clicking the database project, we select the import, then we select the database. Now we are in the step 5. We shall get the interface as you are watching on the screen. We click the select connection button, select connection. We are making the connection with the database which we are importing into our database project in the view studio. So, when we click the select connection button, we shall get the interface as given in the question number step six. First of all, we shall browse the we shall browse we shall browse the link at step one. After that, we select the database. There are many databases in the network, but we shall select the our required database. In my case, there is a AG King. When we click on the AG King, then it will populate the field server name, server name AG King. Then in the authentication field, you have two options, window authentication or server authentication. If you are using server authentication, we shall give the name, the Musa in this, in this case, and the password for the database. And after that, we shall select the database that we are importing into our database project in step seven. In the combo box, we shall select DevOps SQL database in my case. After selecting all these, we shall click on the connect button at step eight. When we click on the connect button, then we shall get the step seven. In step seven, we shall, we have a connection string, source database is AG King, server name, DevOps SQL DB is the database name and Musa is the username. After that, when we click on the start button, the database will import, database will import. When on the completion of the database import, we shall click on the finish button. When we click on the finish button, then in the, finally we shall get the database in the view studio. As you are watching, we have only one table in the imported database in the view studio. Thank you for watching the solution prepared by senior DevOps engineer. Wish you good luck for your career in DevOps.